Howdy from Nelson Creek Farms. I had a person that watched the video uh, that I'd done on changing the fuel line on the Farmall H ask a question about what all fuel was. Uh, all fuel, like I said in the previous video, is a fuel that isn't quite diesel or kerosene, but it isn't gasoline either. A lot of guys will mix gas and kerosene 50-50 and run it in their all fuel tractors. Uh, it was a cheaper fuel, it didn't work quite as well, um, ruined the oil faster for the engine, the lubricating oil. And what I was referring to, and I have since found out on the fuel line issue with this 1940H sitting right here behind me, is that it is an all fuel tractor. And the easiest way to find that out is to look at the manifolds. Okay, this is what they call an all-fuel manifold. There's the carburetor. Yeah, it's all covered in goo and whatever because they do slobber and dribble. But this up here is the heat exchanger section of a all-fuel or kerosene or distillate burning engine. Uh, the, the gases go up through that from the carburetor, the air and gas mix, and the exhaust gas goes around it in this chamber here uh, with this intake going up through the middle of that, and then it splits out and goes to the various uh, intake ports. But anyway, this preheats the fuel and air mixture going into the engine so it'll burn easier. And there's supposed to be a big tin cover over that, which I'll show you right now in a photograph. Okay, and that is an all-fuel manifold on there. And this is where I was running into trouble. I started comparing serial numbers and whatnot and uh, that are back here on this tag right there and was ordering parts based off of that instead of what I actually do have here. Okay, without taking the hood completely off, you can see that L-shaped bracket there with those bolt holes. Well, I doubt it that there was ever anything on there. There could have been. Uh, you can see the air filter bolted on there on the other side. But on this side, there should have been a tank mounted, and I'll show you that in this next photo. Okay, now, if that tank was bolted on here, that tank contained about a gallon or so of gasoline, and that's what you used to start the tractor with. And there would have been a little valve down here below it that you saw in that picture. And a fuel line with a little simple shot-off valve would have run from here, instead of this sediment bulb assembly, over back to you as you're viewing this, to the bottom of the tank that would have hung right here. Okay? And that tank would have had a setup like that sediment bulb on there, except it would have had two lines, uh, one running in, one running out, and then the one going up. And where it goes up here would have gone into the bottom of that starting tank, as in the plumbing that I'll show you here in this next photo. Okay, what would happen is the farmer or owner of the tractor would open the little valve in the bottom of the starting tank, letting the gasoline flow down to the carburetor. Once the carburetor uh, was full of gasoline, you could start the tractor. Almost impossible to start one that wasn't or hadn't been run on the distillate or all-fuel uh, mix. Uh, unless you know unless it was hot so anyway you'd start it on gasoline and there was shutters up here behind the grill and in here you can't see it on this one because they aren't there 
And I looked. I don't think there was ever shutters on this tractor. And part of the linkage for the shutters was attached right here. There was a little lever and control rod and stuff. And that shows absolutely no sign of ever having anything in there. Because there was a rod that ran back along here to one of these two holes here in the bottom of that bracket. You can see them right there. One's got the starter switch in it, and, or the ignition switch, and the other one's just a blank hole. Anyway, there was a shutter control there, and it was just basically little louvers that opened and closed to reduce the airflow going through the engine so the engine warm up. And when the engine got hot enough to run on that stuff, the farmer would turn the little valve on the bottom. Sorry, I got it way close. It's Halloween's coming up. Anyway, the farmer would turn on the valve for that was underneath the main fuel tank, which this is, and that would allow the all fuel or distillate or whatever you want to call it, the junk fuel, to get to the valve in the bottom of the uh, starting tank. Well, once that was open on the main tank, then the farmer would turn the valve the other way on the starting tank so that the fuel from the main tank would go through and down to the carburetor. And then you repeat the process when you wanted to shut the tractor off at night so the carburetor was full of gas and not distill it. Uh, you'd shut the off, you'd turn the little valve to the starting tank side that was underneath the starting tank and shut off the one on the main tank, let it run for a minute or so to get the gasoline back down to the carburetor, you were good to go the next morning. Anyway, that little tank mounted here, a short little fuel line ran from there over to here to the bottom of that starting tank. And then the main fuel line actually ran through that little hole that we showed you a little bit ago over on the other side. It goes clean through there, and if you peek, you can see maybe that fuel line in there. Anyway, that's what it was. And up here on the top of the hood is a hole where the little gas cap was for the distillate tank. And here is the temperature gauge. You see it says run. That's where you'd want it to switch it over to run on distillate. So what we have here is a uh, 1940 Farmall H that has a all fuel slash distillate junk fuel manifold on it, but it doesn't have a starting tank. It may have had one, but there was no shutter on this tractor. At least it doesn't ever look like there was a shutter on the tractor. There's no linkage. There's no nothing for it. So I'm thinking this tractor was built during a time when they were running all fuel engines, but this tractor was ordered to be gasoline only, so it didn't come with any of that other stuff. The engines were built and assembled, they were just shipped, so you got what you got. So that's why it's probably got the all fuel manifold on it. So anyway, uh, we will catch up with you later, and if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And for heaven's sakes, if you would, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell that's right there next to the subscribe button. Uh, for whatever reason, that lets YouTube know that you're actually watching the video and not just clicking on the subscribe button and going on with your day. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you, and you have a good one.